All right, everybody. Well, we're back here working on the one ton again. It's a pretty nice day today. To be honest, it actually feels like fall. But it's actually 97 degrees and only about 50% humidity. Which is actually a big improvement over 107 degrees that we've been having every day. So we're going to hurry up and try to get the air conditioning going. Because while this does feel cooler, 97 is not cool. So we're going to see what we can do about getting this air conditioner fixed. Because this liquid line up here, this valve, has fallen completely apart. It's just trash inside. I don't know how it happened. Maybe whoever tried to refill this last did something bad, but we need to replace the whole thing because this is brazed on, so it's not something I can easily just swap and I can't get to the valve, so. Luckily, you can actually pick these up at O'Reilly's. 50 bucks in stock. Kind of surprised me. And now working on an air conditioner is not as hard as people think. You might think you need a specialty tool. That's the only tool I need to do this job. You just take this black clip off. You take this. You pop it around the tube down here. You kind of pull it up. And you just work your way in. And it just comes off. Now you do the same thing back here. I actually popped this clip out earlier seeing how hard it was to get to. This one's a little booger to get to. I ain't got to do this for braille. Get in here once you fill it clip on. There we go. Pull it out. Pull. And you just got these little clips right here. They come off. Come off. And then, <laughs> this is a little bit of a trick sometimes. Is aluminum, so you can flex it a little bit. Just don't get carried away and kink something. Even though I suppose this old one doesn't matter a lot. But All right. And there is the culprit right there. We're going to go ahead and move it's looming over. Toss this into the side. Okay. We are going to put the looming on the new one. Now these new ones look like they come in a freaking garment bag. Big Ziploc bag here. Just keep moisture out. and get this looming put on just in case it's useful I don't know the exact reason whether it's for looks or it protects it but either way we're gonna play it safe since we have it certainly won't hurt us to put it on that looks prettier and wires was really in the way just a second ago so they're gonna get yes that was disconnected the computer to make my life easier now make sure you don't get any trash down in this or up in this one or moisture for that matter but hopefully we can avoid moisture Liquid line goes under 
underneath the suction line. I think we're going to be able to make this work, but I'm not sure that truly fits. So, we're going to bend things around here a minute and we'll see what we can do. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright everybody, sorry that took a minute. A little creative adjustment. This looks nothing like the original did. So, the part you pick up at O'Reilly's, you have to make fit. I'm not sure what truck it's for because it says it's for this truck. But, the important part is that clip is on there. Now, we're going to put some of this over here to keep it from rubbing. Certainly, since that's kind of touching lines, that's a little more important than it was a second ago. I'm going to try to pull this a little bit there to this member here. That way we get a little pressure off of it. But, That is in place. So, let's just go ahead and put some cooling in it. What do you say? Okay, I know I had everybody hollering at me, but I'm actually going to pull a vacuum for about 30 minutes before I recharge this system. The oil should be good. I didn't change anything that had oil in it. So, we should be good to go. I'm just going to fire up and we're going to vacuum this thing. This will be a little while. Many, many minutes later. Alright, let's get some cooling hooked up to this. you here that I did not show you the right way to do that. I showed you the way I did that. It worked. I have air conditioning. Part didn't quite fit. It kind of looks like it fits now. Probably the only tool I did with the right thing was this tool. Because I probably should use a gauge set that's in better shape. I may see about getting a new one from Harbor Freight. They look like they have some pretty good ones. Vacuum pump worked good. Other than that, I think we're good to go. Well, thanks for watching.